So uh, it's time for the clash. I'm asking which party do you trust on migration policy? Now, the leader of Reform Party, Nigel Farage, has suggested his party would halt channel crossings by exiting the ECHR, or the European Convention on Human Rights, and returning migrants to France. Prime Minister Rishi Sunak argues that only his government have a viable plan to stop the boats. And by this migration, we are talking about illegal migration, by the way, by using the Rwanda policy as a deterrent. And Labour leader Sikir Starmer said he'd create new, a new border security command Armed, to tackle people smuggling uh, and the gangs. And uh, I feel like I've missed someone. Who do you, who gets your vote? I could ask uh, the Norman Baker, former Home Office Minister, because he knows, and also Adam Brooks, they join me now for the clash. Norman Baker, what's the Liberal Democrats' policy on migration? Let me say, first of all, there are no simple answers to this. Mm. And any party that says they're going to solve it is not telling the truth to the electorate at large. So there's a number of things you can do. First of all, in terms of illegal migration, let's just remember that's a fraction of the numbers coming in through legal migration in this country. Yeah, no, we're aware numbers, of that. You have to look at legal migration. Yeah, no, it's true, not, but, not but, illegal but migration. I'm, I'm focusing this question on illegal okay, migration. OK, well, as far as illegal migration is concerned, one of the things the government's got right has been the bilateral deal with Albania to try to make sure that people who come in for economic reasons can be returned to countries which are safe. We need to see more of that going on. We need to see better relations with our European Union partners, the common partners, to try and make sure that they are prepared to take people back into their countries who arrive on, on, on our shores. We need to make sure that the Home Office produces uh, a much better way of dealing with people when they come in in terms of uh, dealing with their applications so that they are progress processed much more quickly. Uh, they can be removed from the country they shouldn't be here in, in all due speed and, and integrated with the country if they're allowed to be here. Uh, that's not happening at the moment. And we've got millions, I don't know about millions, but huge numbers but sitting there not being processed by the Home Office and costing the taxpayer a lot of money. And personally, I don't think it's a Lib Dem policy, but personally, what we're taking the view that people who are here waiting for applications to be decided should be allowed to work, so that A, they're given some self-respect, and C, and secondly, we get some money coming in in terms of taxation from them. So, in, in a sense, you've jumped the queue illegally, you are allowed now to work, well, you're make work money, pending your application you pay tax, determined. Uh, and then, and you're and then you're rewarding them. What's the disincentive? You're pretending your application well, what's being the disincentive, though? Because if I, you know, if I fancy, I said, well, if I go there, I'll get a job, yeah. I'll get money or benefits or whatever it is, um, and I can work and everything else. It's like I'm, I live there. Well, I haven't right. been vetted, I haven't been checked. Mm. I could be a serial killer or well, somebody we're, we're, evil. We've already had terrorists, murderers, paedophiles, we've had rapists, we've had criminals come across on these dinghies. There is nothing stopping someone who, who's on the beach in France coming here. They know they're not going to get um, deported because the government just won't and our left-wing media and, uh, and activists won't allow us to de deport many of these people. Labour in the past, uh, MPs, have put a stop to deportation flights or have written to put the pressure on uh, stopping deportation flights that have had people like rapists on them. So what worries me you know, I, I look at reform and I think they are the only party that are actually generally in touch with the people's uh, worries over immigration. But you can say it, but whether you can actually do it is another thing. So it, then you, some people can but have look, a good soundbite and okay. say the right thing so that we, sounds we've, right. We've possibly got impossible. one deterrent, which is Rwanda. Mm. Labour have already said that even if Rwanda was working, they would stop it from day one. Now... What sort of message is that mm. giving to those that are in the Calais camps? <laughs> Let's remember that these people in the Calais camps, they, they look at us like El Dorado. They think they're either going to get loads of benefits, free houses, which uh, free housing, which they do, or they're going to go and work for cash in hand, you know, and, and earn loads of money on the streets of London or, or within the UK. We are seen as an easy touch. That's why they come here, and that's what you've got to stop. Well, there's you've... a whole lot of things to say about that. First of all, Rwanda's an expensive gimmick. Why is it um, an expensive gimmick? Because it's, not, need... it's, not, it's costing us yeah, a fortune, nothing's but, happening. Do you not think that spending money, so the foreign aid budget, which is uh, a lot of it, a large portion of it, is now going to this kind of thing? It is so, going to it. Yeah so, yeah, so that's billions. But it's not working, is no, but, it? But, it's but, not started. But if we compare the amount of money spent looking after these people, which is like eight million well, a day, as opposed to absolutely. a couple of hundred million if a Rwanda where they could go off somewhere. Well, it's, costing, it's actually a bargain, isn't it? It's costing as much to hold them here because A, the Home Office is incompetent yeah, and but, not able to press them. Well, then this is not... The one I'm, but you just said it's a rip-off or whatever. It is a rip-off. And I'm saying, but so, so is keeping them here. Uh, so I agree if, with you. If, so, for me, I if, if I'm going to be ripped off, it's just less of a rip-off. I, 
you go to Hang around and they're not here. No, the, the, the reason it's costing an absolute fortune is because the Home Office is useless at processing people, and secondly, because they're not allowed to work, they've been here for some time. Well, you, you, so you that's can't two have things. people working but, who you haven't vetted. Well, it you, you, depends what they're doing. Well, actually. well, do you employ somebody who's just come on a boat from somewhere else and in your no, company, in your let's factory? Be, let's I wouldn't, and I'm a businessman. You're a businessman, no, no, would you? No, I wouldn't. And, and, and one, what, the one thing a, that I will say... It's a ridiculous say. notion that people keep yeah. saying, oh, they can work and make money. No. Who are these people? Look, a lot of these people can't even speak English. I see it firsthand. There's a town near me called Epping. They housed a lot of these migrants in a local hotel. They would walk down the high street, they would go into the council offices, they would be demanding, they would be aggressive and demanding things, even though they're getting fed three times a day and a, and a, a bed and a, a roof over their heads, still demanding, very aggressive as well. Why would I want to trust one of those working in my no. business? Can no you see, way. See, the thing yeah. is, because it's a nice thing to say, it's a nice principle gesture, they should work and pay tax, who's yes, going to should. employ them? Who's going to right. employ them? I want to pick up on one point I'm going mm. to go out and make because it's a very important point. And it's absolutely wrong and it's discriminatory to classify people who come across these as all being rapists or whatever the drug dealers no, are. But we've had them. That's are, a fact. They're, they're no, of no, course, no, a minority of them. Okay, so, to be fair, most he, people, he's not really saying that. He's saying, well, he, he well my point it. is, the point that I'm making is that you don't know and you haven't done all the research as to who they are. Once they're vetted and once you've determined whether they should be doing X, Y, or Z, then that's fine. The but point, they're, they're, they're held in these things like uh, they're in a stall somewhere waiting for processing. Yeah, they so they're not being processed. The so you don't know who they are. You haven't but, done your but look, I mean, the majority of people who come across here are not going to be criminals. That's Trump language. Know? Well, some people might because say they aren't. Because oh, hold on, no, but I, I want you to tell me, how do you know oh, that? How do you know they because, are, then? Because we have had... Yes. Terrorists. We've every single had one. Every single one that comes across. Not no, every single not one. Every single one. No, but that's a, a tiny is... minority of them. A tiny minority. No, you don't even know no. it's a tiny minority. Well, do you know? Look, because, because... I've, got, I've got three kids. I'll tell you how I know. I'm Let scared of who is in our yeah. community well, because I don't know. Let him answer that. Let, oh, answer that. Answer that. let him answer the, how he the, knows. Because the majority, the vast majority of people who have their asylum claims processed are approved to stay in this country. That's why... Uh, let me just when, tell when, you, when you we're, we're, we're approving asylum claims even after people are done for sexual crime. We see that with um, the guy that threw the substance um, in, in, in the lady's face. He got his asylum stamped you are taking... after... He had sexually you, assaulted you someone. You are taking one example and, and no, magnifying I'm, I'm to, proof, to cover the I, whole I'm group of people. I'm proving that our system is no. open to abuse, and it is a proven fact that we've had these criminals come across on boats. All right, listen, I tell you what, I'm going to have to stop it there, but it was uh, most interesting.